Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another one of my videos. I was gonna make this the bundle news video, but I just finished watching the PlayStation Showcase, uh, State of Play. They showed some amazing things in there. And I want to talk to you guys about what I saw, what I liked, what stood out to me. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the show as well. Now let's jump into it. So the first thing uh, stood out to me, which was really, really cool, was the KOTOR remake. So as soon as I heard that Star Wars music, as soon as I saw Lu LucasArts, I was like, oh shit, this is either going to be something new or something that my brother's been asking for for a while now. So I'm really excited for him and everybody else that's really excited about KOTOR coming back, getting remade, and getting showed some love. Now, I don't really know that much about the new studio that's making it because it's not Bioware and it's not EA. But yeah, we'll see how that turns out. I think it's going to be a while, maybe 2024, maybe 2025 before we see actually gameplay and release dates and stuff like that. The next thing I saw that stood out to me was a third party thing, but I am actually interested in the game. So I want to try that out. Um, so it's Rainbow Six Extraction. And uh, that looks really interesting, really fun, and I would like to play that with my friends. I talked about the game when it was first teased, and it had a different name, and then they showed it again, uh, I believe at E3. So, I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. The next thing they showed had me actually very surprised, because it was going to be part of my bundle news video, where I talk about Alan Wake, the remake. Or a remaster, actually. But they showed it off with the PlayStation. That was so weird to me. Since in my head, it's just a 360 exclusive. Um, I don't even know that many people that have played it on PC. But either way, since it's being remastered, uh, it's going to be everywhere. Epic Game Store, I believe, is going to be on, on new Xbox consoles. It's going to be on PlayStation 4 and 5. So they actually had that trailer on the state of play, which was really cool. It looks pretty much how I thought it would. Uh, I wasn't expecting too much of a leap, uh, like how we did with that Dead Space uh, teaser that they were showing with the devs. But with this one, it just looks nice. Hopefully everything smoothed out and it's not grainy at all when uh, we play it this time around. After that, we got some Marvel goodness. We got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy again. Still looking forward to that. Probably not going to get it day one. I'll wait and see because I don't know if we could trust Square right now when it comes to Marvel games. But I hope that this one is better than the Avengers game. After that, Insomniac came out slapping everybody in the face with Wolverine. And holy shit, that was a surprise because, well, I didn't think they were going to do anything regarding Spider-Man for a while. But not only did they show off Wolverine and they showed off... Spider-Man 2, which was really, really nice. It was a bit of a shocker. That one is coming out on 2023, I believe. Yeah, 2023. And uh, it looks good. It has Venom. Everybody's hyped. But from what I'm seeing online, and from what I feel, that Wolverine teaser trailer was way better than anything else they showed off today. Um, I think everybody's just a big fan of Logan like that. After that, they showed off some God of War. That was awesome. They showed a lot of gameplay. You know that thing's gonna come out very soon, right around the corner. So I can't wait to see the release date, uh, the official release date, the game. How if it? I don't even know if it's gonna come out on PS4 actually. Now that I think about it, I think it's only for PS5. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. It just looks badass. I saw Thor. I saw. A lot of uh, gameplay so I liked it it looked really good it made me want to go back and play the last one some stuff that I didn't really appreciate was Grand Theft Auto 5 online thing not necessary the intro commercial not necessary death loop I think everybody is sick and tired of seeing it already if you're gonna play it you know you're gonna play it it's coming out like on the 14 of this month in September but I'm not interested in it so for me I'm just kind of like Okay, we get it. Put something else. I want to see something else. But I understand that they do have to promote it. I mean, obviously, they have marketing rights and everything like that with Bethesda. So they're going to show it off whatever chance they get. And hopefully it does very well. After that, the show is done and they talked to uh, some of the people at PlayStation. I don't think that they were... Oh, well, yeah, I think there are some of them were devs and everything like that. So they talked about... 
a little bit more regarding the games they showed off and I believe they showed off some more uh, Horizon gameplay which this was going to be one of my topics for a bundle of news and I'm really happy they listened to everyone and they got called out when they were going to charge people for the PS5 upgrade if you're getting the PS4 version so uh, I'm glad that they're listening and everyone said what they needed to say and if you buy it on the PS4 then you get your upgrade on PS5 I wish they did that with all their games because you know it's the the time that we're in right now the it's really hard to get a new system everybody is still dealing with pandemic related things so why not just give everybody that little ease of mind of oh yeah if I upgrade later on because I can't get the console right now I'll just get that for free I get that smart delivery I get that free upgrade and it'll be fun either way whether you're continuing the game or whether you're just restarting it let me know what you guys think down below about this list Maybe I missed some games that you guys are looking forward to. I know they showed off Ghostwire Tokyo and stuff like that as well. Let me know how I sound. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.